Hey, what's up everybody? Coach Malcolm Mel here. And today I wanna to show you how I lift a 50 pound bag of grain without injuring my lower back or my knees. So some of you may know that I've been recovering from a lower back injury. I herniated the disc between L5 and S1. And fortunately I am making a magnificent recovery, but that is because of PT and being mindful of the way I lift things up and push them down. So let's talk about lifting something heavy in weird kinds of ways. First, we wanna protect our knees. Second, we wanna protect our lower back. The best way to do that is to use all of these big muscles in our legs and try and keep our knee in line with our ankle or behind our toes so we have a little bit of leeway there. We also wanna make sure that our back maintains a slight arch but we usually call it a neutral spine when our back is nice and straight, not rounded in any sort of way like this. So, neutral spine and having good quads, good hamstrings, good glutes to stand ourselves up. I'm gonna just stand up without anything right now and I'm gonna do that by just setting up into a lunge to stand, just like I explained. If we were gonna take that into consideration when lifting this bag, there's a couple of things we can do. One, we can hip hinge down to grab the bag. So if I'm gonna hip hinge down, I'm gonna be keeping my feet hip width apart so they're right below my hips or shoulders. Hello, Mr. Sunshine. We're gonna push our butt back, bend our knees slightly, but we wanna really focus on pushing our butt back making our hips bend like a door hinge. You see that? Like, like a door hinge and that, keeping my neutral spine here, I can then either grab the bag on either side, get lower, come on the bottom of the bag, hold it tight so it's close to me, and then just like a deadlift, squeezing my back, everything together, I'm gonna stand, releasing through my hips and then through my knees. And now I have the bag and I'm ready to then just go walk around with it. But what about putting it back down? Same kind of thing. I'm gonna wanna make sure that I have my feet set up, either hip or shoulder width apart, whatever feels more comfortable for me to then hinge my hips, push back, keep my spine neutral, and place my 50 pound bag onto the ground. So that'd be the best way to hip hinge an object. Again, I'm keeping it close to me. And that is what comes into play when we either hip hinge or squat. So that was my hip hinge. Now I'm gonna squat down and get this. You might feel like a squat feels better for you. It certainly feels better for me recovering from a lower back injury. Hello, Mr. Sunshine, I'm trying to talk. Might feel better to squat if you have lower back pain. And that is because you can get into a wider stance with the squat to get around the bag here. And we move our hips and knees at the same rate. See how my butt is now lower? So from the front side, I'm now getting below the bag and bringing it close to me. I'm gonna show you this from the side though, so you get that side view. Squatting down, and then getting below the bag, similar to what I did with the hip hinge. But this time we have to make sure that we keep our chest nice and tall, squeeze everything, and then stand keeping all of our weight in our heels, our chest coming straight up. And there we go. If we wanted to squat down to put this back down, it'd be the same premise. We want to keep those feet wide, break at the knees and hips, and put our object down on the ground. Simple as that. Now, telltale sign you're gonna hurt your back is if you go to reach for an object and your back is rounded here, and your butt is way too up high. These two kinds of combinations, you go to grab this, everything's going to round and all of that strains right into your low back. And that's what we really are trying to avoid by either, again, getting in our hip hinge here, reaching down and squeezing to stand, or our squat, we get a little wider, and our hips and knees bend together. Whatever feels more comfortable. So again, hip hinge, have that more narrow stance, 
reaching down, keeping myself nice and straight and tall and standing. And then whew, I squat, wider stance, hips and knees bend together. Same kind of thing though, keeping it all nice and tight, standing. Alright, if you suffer from knee pain, you might find that the hip hinge feels better because it keeps a lot of the load in the back of our legs and keeps our knees right over our ankles. Whereas with the squat, helping the low back because the knees come forward a little bit. So you're going to have to play around with your body anatomy and also the size and weight of the object you're carrying around. Now, if I wanted to carry this and lift it up and bring it somewhere, what I'd want to do next is after hugging it, be able to get into a position where I can bring it onto my shoulder. So I'll show you what that looks like. So I'm going to squat down and grab this. Like I said, it feels better for my back to do that. It doesn't really matter how you do it, as long as you have the bag up at your shoulders. Once you have it here, there's a couple of different options. What I really like most is bringing your legs together to bend them slightly so you can get a good grip on the bag. And then you can give a little hip pop and bring that bag right to your shoulders. And that is probably the best way to do it. However, I found that, and again, we're gonna talk about bringing this down. If you're not bringing it down onto a table, you'd wanna create that table with your feet again. So knees, feet, that flat back. So here, if I didn't want to create this, I stood up, I have the bag. Another thing I could do is get one leg in the air to hold it, to get underneath it. And now, without popping my hips, I can just curl it onto my shoulder. So again, that's gonna depend on your body anatomy as well, what feels good for you, okay? And if we're plopping it down on the ground from your shoulder, you don't wanna plop it down, you can just hold the bottom of it, get set up in your hip hinge or your squat, and guide it to the ground. So, I hope you enjoyed that little explanation there of hip hinging and squatting. A 50 pound bag of grain. This is what I'm doing on the farm all the time with these guys and it's been great recovery for my back. So if you are looking for a workout, I suggest you just find one of those weird objects in your house, start lifting it, all right? Stay healthy and I'll catch you later.